High-end prison breaks often take unexpected forms. The guards bring the prisoners their meals. The woman looks at the spoon and the food, and immediately thinks of a way to escape. After the guards leave, the woman digs into the wall with the spoon. She smiled happily. It was a struggle, but the wall moved. To avoid detection by the guards, she tore the paper from her book. She soaked the paper in water and then covered it with dirt, so that the color of the paper was the same as the wall. Then he covered the hole with the paper to hide it. The prison was built on a site surrounded by water and windy conditions. The women dug up the dirt from the walls. She poured it through the window, letting the dirt slowly drift away with the wind. The woman knew that this escape was a long plan. She wanted to buy more time to dig up the walls. Under the pretext of reading a book, in her cell, she asked the guards to cancel the playground to speed up the digging process. The woman collected the soup from her meals and spread it evenly over the hole. The salt in the soup will erode the walls, and the dirt will be easier to dig down. The woman followed this method. It took her six months to dig a 60-meter tunnel. Everything was ready. That day, the prosecutor came to inspect the prison. The woman saw her chance to welcome the governor. The prison would hold an event. She took advantage of the crowd to get out of her cell since she hadn't been out for six months. The inmates in the yard didn't recognize her. No one noticed her movement. That's what the women wanted. Wanted. Everyone was watching the female inmate's performance, but the woman approached the officer's car. She quickly ducks under the car. The guards were on time to deliver the woman's food. There's no answer to his knocks on the door. The guards felt strange and entered the cell to check. The woman was gone. He sounded the alarm and the prison was in chaos. In order to ensure the safety of the officer, the guards immediately escorted the officer to evacuate. The woman was hanging from the bottom of the car. The warden returned to his cell and scolded the guards. He couldn't even keep an eye on a woman. He was so angry that he smashed a book against the wall, but it just broke the paper in the hole. The warden pulled the paper away from the hole. They found a tunnel. They thought the woman had escaped through the tunnel, so they called the inspector to investigate. The inspector climbed into the tunnel with a flashlight. He moved forward slowly, because the tunnel was steep. The inspector slipped and slid to the end of the tunnel. He realized that the tunnel was a dead end, so he asked the guards to pull him back with a rope. Inside the cell, the inspector found a worn spoon. He thinks it's a woman's tool for digging tunnels. The guards weren't convinced. A spoon can't dig that fast. The inspector flicked dirt into the guard's mouth. He says the woman used salt from her vegetables to corrode the walls. It speeds up the digging, and the dirt she dug up was blown away by the wind. The inspector saw what the woman was trying to do. She used the governor's car to escape from the prison. The woman dug this tunnel to distract the guards, to distract the guards. By the time he climbed in to make sure the tunnel was a dead end, 25 minutes had passed, and 25 minutes was enough time for the woman to escape. 